Hello everyone, welcome to W3 Grads Quick Tech Solutions. In this video, we will explore further into Java map and their classes and the key difference between them. In a previous video, we have already seen the map interface and how to work with it. In this video, we will learn about the concrete implementations of this map interface in the form of classes. These classes are hash map, linked hash map, and tree map. The main difference between hash map, linked hash map, and tree map comes in their internal implementation and specific features, which makes them useful in certain scenarios. So, let us begin with our discussion on hash map class in Java. A hash map is a part of Java's collection since Java 1.2. It provides the basic implementation of the map interface of Java. It stores the data in the form of key value pairs. To access a value one must know its key. It is called a hash map because it uses a technique called hashing. Hashing is a way to assign a unique code for any variable object after applying any function algorithm on its properties. Here are a few important features of HashMap. HashMap is a part of the java.util package. HashMap extends an abstract class abstract map which also provides an incomplete implementation of map interface. It also implements the clonable and serializable interface. HashMap doesn't allow duplicate keys but allows duplicate values, which means that two different keys can have a same value, but two different values cannot be assigned to the same key. HashMap allows null keys also but only once, allows multiple null values. This class makes no guarantees as to the order of the map, in particular, it does not guarantee that the order will remain constant over time. Let us quickly see all these points with the help of an example. We already have our Eclipse IDA open, and we have already created a class named HashMap Demo. Now, just below our package declaration, we will type import java.util.asterisk followed by semicolon. Now, we will go inside our main method and create a hash map by typing map along with opening and closing angular brackets. Inside these, we will type integer comma string, which means that our keys will be of integer type and values will be of string type. Now, we will name map as code city. After that, we will put an equals operator and type new hash map followed by integer comma string with an angular brackets. After that, we will put parentheses along with semicolon. Now, in the next line, we will add map entries. We will write code city dot put. Here, we will need to provide arguments. So we will give it arguments as 1 1 comma, Delhi in double quotes. After that we will add more entries. So, we will copy this first entry, and paste it three more times. Then we will change the argument values. In the second entry, we will provide values as 2 2 comma Mumbai. Then in the third entry, we will provide 3 3 comma Kolkata, and in the last entry, we will type 4 4 comma Chennai. So, we now have all the entries put in the hash map. Now, we can output these entries using the print line statement. So, in the next line, we will type system dot out dot print line, and pass code city as an argument. It will display the map entries, where each key is associated with its corresponding value. Here, we can notice that hash map does not maintain the order of insertion, which is what we mentioned earlier before this example. Another point to note here is that hash map does not permit duplicate keys. So, just below our fourth entry, we will again paste another entry. Here, we will keep the key the same as 1 1, change the value to New Delhi. On running the code, we will notice that the value associated with 1 1 is now New Delhi, which means that the hash map has discarded the duplicate key 1 1. In addition, hash map also permits null key ones, but null values multiple times. So, just below our 5 entries, we will paste the entry 3 more times. Now here, in the 6th entry from top, we will change the key to null, and value to Kohama. Similarly, in the 7th entry, we will change the key and value, both to null, and in the 8th entry, we will change the key to 1 0, and value to null. Then we will save the code and run it. We will notice the output displays only one entry with a null key. However, it displays entries with two null values. So, this is all about the hash map. Now that we know what hash map is, let's move to linked hash map. Linked hash map is just like hash map with an additional feature of maintaining an order of elements inserted into it. Hash map provided the advantage of quick insertion, search, and deletion. However, it never maintained the track and order of insertion, which the linked hash map provides. Here, the elements can be accessed in their insertion order. Let us understand the linked hash map with the help of a quick example. We will go back to the Eclipse workspace and make some changes in the existing code. We will go to the hash map declaration statement and replace the hash map with linked hash map. 
Then we will save the code and run it. We will notice that the map entries are displayed in the order in which they are inserted. Rest, everything is same as it was in the case of hash map. So, this is clear from this code that linked hash map is same as hash map, but it maintains the insertion order, whereas hash map displays the entries in a random order. So, this is all about linked hash map in Java. The last one in our list is the tree map. So, let us proceed further to learn about tree map in Java. The tree map in Java is used to implement map interface and navigable map along with the abstract class. The map is sorted according to the natural ordering of its keys, or by a comparator provided at map creation time, depending on which constructor is used. This proves to be an efficient way of sorting and storing the key value pairs. Also, you must note that the tree map implementation is not synchronized, that is, if a map is accessed by multiple threads concurrently, and at least one of the threads modifies the map structurally, then it must be synchronized externally, in order to maintain the structure and order. Now, let us look at some of the important features of tree map. This class is a member of Java Collections Framework. The class implements map interfaces including navigable map, sorted map and extends abstract map. Tree map in Java does not allow null keys like map and thus a null pointer exception is thrown. However, multiple null values can be associated with different keys. So now, let us go back to our Eclipse workspace and check out the working of tree map with the help of example. We will use the same code again. In place of linked hash map, we will write tree map, and after the fifth entry, we will add one more print line statement to print the map entries. Now, we will save the code and run it. This time, we will notice that four key value pairs are displayed on the console followed by a null pointer exception. The key value pairs are displayed in a sorted order. The sorting is with respect to keys. Also, the reason behind the null pointer exception is that, we have declared one null key in our code, and tree map never permits any null key, which was permitted by hash map and linked hash map. So, this is all about tree map. So, to summarize, let us see the differences between the three classes. The image shows the differences between them in a tabular form. The first parameter is the time complexity, which defines the performance and efficiency. So, hash map has complexity of big O1, for insertion and lookup. On the other hand, the linked hash map also has complexity of big O1 for insertion and lookup. The tree map has complexity of big O log n for insertion and lookup. The second parameter is the iteration order, which defines the order in which the entries are inserted, stored, and retrieved in the map. Here, the hash map does not maintain any order, and stores entries in a random order. However, linked hash map maintains order in which key value pairs are inserted. On the other hand, tree map maintains a particular order. It stores keys which are sorted in ascending order. The third parameter is the null keys oblock values, which specifies whether they allow null keys or values. Here, the hash map allows one null key and multiple null values, whereas, the linked hash map also allows one null key and multiple null values. However, the tree map does not allow null key but allow multiple null values. The last parameter is the interfaces, which specifies, what interfaces are implemented by these classes. Here, the hash map, and the linked hash map, both implements map interface. However, the tree map implements the map interface along with sorted map, and navigable map interfaces. So, this means that both hash map and linked hash map are quite similar. Moreover, they are efficient as well as cost effective as compared to tree map. This is the reason they are used more frequently. Therefore, with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and understood the concept of maps and their differences in detail. So, keep learning and I will see you next time. Until then, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on the upcoming videos. Thank you.